I'm Emily, your college sweetheart. Is there something you wanted to ask me? Emily. Wait, you gotta get down on your knee. No, I'm not getting down on my knee. She'll like it. She'll like seeing you down on your knee. I'm not getting down on my knee. Such a mistake. Okay. Emily. Yes, William. Don't make me laugh. Emily. Will you... Um... Marry me? No. God. Well, what do you mean, will you um, marry me? I haven't seen you in weeks. You don't look happy or excited about the prospect of our marriage. You're asking me to give up my... my freedom, my joie de vivre, for an institution that fails as often as it succeeds. And why should I marry you anyway? I mean, why do you want to marry me? Besides some bourgeois desire to fulfill an ideal that society embeds in us from an early age to promote a consumer capitalist agenda. Oh! <laughs> oh, my God! You should have got on your knees. Just shut up. Here. I want to marry you because you're the first person that I want to look at when I wake up in the morning and the only one I want to kiss goodnight. Because the first time that I saw these hands, I couldn't imagine not being able to hold them. But mainly, when you love someone as much as I love you, Getting married is the only thing left to do. So, will you? Um, marry me. Definitely. Maybe. I have to think about it. Walk me home. Oh, hey, uh, where's, uh, where's, where's Dave? Dave's in the shower. Are you okay? Hey. What's going on? Dave's just acting really weird. How? He's just doing weird stuff. Like, he wore his shower sandals to work yesterday. Forgot to pick up the twins from daycare. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. They had to sit there for an hour and a half. Okay. And then last night, he told me that he wasn't attracted to me anymore. I'm gonna kill him. I just want you to tell me something right now, okay? And you have to be totally honest with me. Sure. You swear? Yeah. Is he having an affair? No. Why did you hesitate just then? No. I really thought you would have heard through the intercom and let us in or run down the stairs and say... What story? What story? I kept the book. Yeah? because it was the only thing that I had left of you. Oh, you must be Maya. You must be April. now you invite us inside and we tell you the story okay I do have an idea. Uh-huh. What do you think about doing something that we will really, really regret in the morning? <laughs> you into oh. it? 
Yeah, I mean, yeah? Uh, definitely do that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's go. All right, let's go. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Really? You're sure that's what you want? Absolutely. I like that. You're okay with that being on your body for, for like, forever? I, I feel pretty good about it. How's yours down there? It's good. It's good. Tickles a little. Rico. Yo. What do you think of this turn, man? Oh, I don't know, man. That's Tommy. Tommy. Yeah, man. Check this out, man. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you know, you never did tell me about your childhood. Really? Now? With the Sons of Anarchy between your... Um, let's see here. Tommy, Rico, hey, guys, we're sightseeing now. Let's move it along, please. Come on. God, you're such a gentleman. Now you only have one ponytailed ex-convict between your legs, so everything's fine. <laughs> I'm kidding. I was absolutely joking. I love your ponytail <laughs> and that little pirate beard. Still kidding. <laughs> That's me there. Oh, this is you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Thanks. Yeah. Well, good night. Good night. Hey, Mitch? Yeah. Are you gonna call me? I, I, I thought you said this wasn't a date. Things change. Yeah, sir. It's like when something is staring you in the face and it's like you're too blind to see it. What's that? I have some news for you too. Why, why are you so upset, huh? Don't you think it's a little weird to be writing each other for however long and somehow you neglect to tell me that A, you've fallen in love, and B, you've fallen in love. I told you I was dating someone. Dating someone? You just bought a diamond engagement ring I'm for someone. I'm sorry. I think I was just nervous to tell you. Why would you be nervous to tell me? I don't know. I love this girl so much. I'd just really like you to be happy for me. I can be happy for you. Of course I can be happy for you. Poor April. She's like the character in the story. She's always been the friend. But then she realized she doesn't just want to be the friend. She wants to be the girlfriend. Except it's too late. What do you mean? Weren't you listening? She came home for you. It smells okay. like Jamie, cabbage now. Jamie, sit down. Just sit down. One second. Okay, just humor me, all right? I want, I want you to ask me one thing I don't that only Dave would be able to answer, okay? It's just one question. Please, I'm begging you. Good idea. Okay. When is our anniversary, Dave? April 17th. Next question, please. Wrong. So close. 19th. 17th's your daughter's birthday. 19th's your anniversary. Why do you know that? I think I'm a monster. I send you a card. Okay, Jamie. Hey, listen to me. Okay, okay. Ask me anything else. Oh, my gosh. Mitch, I don't have time for this. Come on. One more. Make it, make it Come tough. On. Really tough. Come Only on. Dave would know. A stumper. Fine. What is my favorite color, Dave? Red. Celadon. Oh, do you not... Understand not a drop yeah. of red in the room. what we're trying to accomplish All the here. No, are I mean you think the opposite of help. Okay, okay, honey. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm gonna tell you something that, on, that only I, that only Dave, would know. Three years ago, you took your vibrator. You took your vibrator. Morning. Into the bathtub, and it short circuited and, and it electrocuted your vagina. Hang on. And there's now the cutest little bald spot right there. <laughs> Yeah. Hi. 
I... Oh, my God. I know, it's me. Nice. This hasn't been fun. Good story. You son of a bitch! How dare you tell him that? God! Oh, wow. What is hey, wrong okay. with you, 